A warm welcome. Plenty of excitement in the air tonight here in North London. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Southampton. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. Stuart, what should we be looking for from him today? Well, he'll certainly add some quality into that midfield area because he's a really good passer of the ball, which will hopefully give the front players the service their movement deserves. Let's just hope he settles in quickly. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Ivan Perisic plays with Hyun Min Son out wide. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And the match is underway. Kane. And throwing himself up the ball. Let's see about the delivery. Simple for the keeper. Ivan Perisic, Romero, Longley, here's Kim Min Jae, and news of a goal at the Amex, Alex Scott has the information for us. It's a goal for Chelsea, they're the first on the score sheet here with 27 minutes played. Many thanks as ever Alex. Origi Perro on the ball Redmond Winks Theo Walcott and that is how to block Son and he takes it away Excellent ball over the top. Nice and easy for the keeper. Well, there it is. Spurs have controlled the possession. But unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. Romero. Now, Son. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Can he put them in front? Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Winks. Kyle Walker-Peters has it. 
Vitali Bujalski. Martinez with it. Walcott. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Could cross it in here. Walcott. And the cross goes in. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, no damage done. They've chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. Kulusevski. Intelligent threaded pass here. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Martinez. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. And the second half has started here at the home of Spurs. A very good tackle. And very deftly cut out. Fabier. Harry Kane. Sir Maxima. Can he put it away? And that's sound goalkeeping. Well, following on from the previous incident, he sees yellow now. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Sam Maxima. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, Spurs have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes or so and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period that you do sense it's coming. And Kane comes into the move. Good looking attack, this. But ultimately, up a cul de sac. Now, can they counter clinically? Redmond. Ward Prowse. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, the shot seemed like a good option, but goalkeeper's ball. Redmond. And the cross didn't beat the first man. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And a tidy ball. Origi. And it's Winks. Martinez. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Who can they pick out? Well, threat over for now. Sam Axima. Son. Perisic. A real opening now. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And once he gets onto it, there's only going to be one outcome. It's a lovely goal. Underway again, and Tottenham with the advantage. Origi. Redmond. Brun Larsson. 
Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Spurs facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now they've lost it. Gives it a go. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Trying to pick out a teammate. That's a routine take. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Perisic. Surely. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And they're making a change. Pabier. Saint-Maximin. Won it back. Counter-attacking very much an option. Lord Prowse. Origi. The high press was very much on. Origi. And the cross goes in. Oh, it didn't happen for him. And his body language tells you how he's feeling, Stuart. Yeah, but the flag's gone up, so that spared his blushes because that was a tame attempt. Well, with the minutes ticking away, here's the big question. Can Tottenham see this out? Stuart, how would you critique their performance of this one? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point, and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Promising position, this. And making the run to the inside. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So, 2-0 now. Salisu. And they need to get tighter. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Ivan Perisic. And now Perisic. Well, the pass not finding its target. Brun Larsen. The ball with James Ward Prowse. Not a good pass. Kane. He's got the right idea with that pass. And there goes the final whistle. Disappointing for Southampton, whatever way you look at it, a defeat here. Well, we discussed their lack of goals before the game, but today they had defensive issues. And for me, the main problem was their reaction time when they lost possession. It was far too slow, which left the defenders too exposed to counter-attacks. 